Hello, welcome to the first part of my 10 string canto playing guide. Today we'll be looking at playing chords using the block and strum method. Blocking and strumming is a technique that has been used for thousands of years and is still used today on instruments like the altar harp and on lyres found in places like North Africa and Asia. To play chords on the cantilever, you use your left hand to damp the strings. When you damp the strings, just gently touch the strings with your fingertips. You don't need to press hard. And you strum with your right hand, either using plectrum, or with your fingertips, or with your fingernails. Often when you play chords, you won't want to actually sound all the strings that you're playing. This makes it quite easy to chord because you just need to use two or three fingers instead of all five. And so here's just a couple of examples. It was using two chords just to show you how this might work. There's more than one way to wear your cantaloupe, especially if you're wearing a strap and you're walking around, it's a lot easier sometimes to put your hands underneath. This is called the underhand position and is very suitable for playing short chords. The overhand position is probably more common as it gives you more access to the higher strings and enables you to play melody and chords together. In part two, I'll be looking at a tune and how you can use both hands to provide both melody and accompaniment. Until then,